One minute to go. One minute to go. Can we have Howard, please? Can we have Howard? Continuity on air in 49 seconds. All right, 50 seconds to broadcast. Howard, where the hell is Howard? Come on, buddy. You ready? Okay, Howard. Patty Hearst, Middle East, Rust Belt closures, OPEC. Got that? Thirty seconds. Give me a camera. Do we have sound? Check. B camera. Check. Sound. Check. Howard. Check. Studio ready. Studio ready. Continuity. It's time for tonight with Howard Beal. Ten. Your music and titles. Nine, eight, seven, six, camera. five, four. And Howard. Howard. My name is Tal Yarden. I'm a video designer, and my role on the show is supervising and creating all of the video elements and components that are in network. So in looking at the original text and looking at the original movie and thinking about what we might do now, we knew that we would set it in a TV studio with over 40 monitors. We have our technical staff sitting on stage in and among the actors, and they become part of the technical infrastructure that expresses the network. I wanted to get at the subjective experience of Howard Beale. We have studio cameras focused on Brian Cranston playing Howard Beale during the news segments. But then once we're off the news, or if we want to see behind the scenes, we use handheld cameras that are on gimbals with two fantastic camera operators, Julie and Chris. My name is Julie Rock, and on Network, I am one of the main camera operators doing handheld camera during the show. My name's Chris Jackson. My main role in the production is operating one of the handheld gimbals, as well as looking after the production running of the show. And these handheld cameras are going all around the set, pulling different shots, so we're getting little incidental moments. They are the camera people, the cinematographers, delivering a live movie. On stage with us, we have Ross, who's our vision mixer, and he will vision mix and choose which cameras come on live. He makes sure that we've always got our image up and that our camera feed is coming in. During technical rehearsals, we're building our cues for the show. Cues break down into two basic components. We have a lot of pre-recorded, pre-edited media elements that are going to appear on the projection screens on all the different monitors that need to be laid out on a timeline, cued in together with sound, together with light. And then there's a whole separate sequence of cues that has to do with what the camera operators are doing so that they know know their path at every moment through the course of the piece and know every shot that they have to take. And you start finding your spots, you start finding the areas of the stage where not to go, where you can go, where you're safe and where you can still get the best shot from. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore! Brian's breakdown scene where you start seeing the repeated image of his face, the infinity loop video feedback on the wall. There's a lot of emotion shown in the close-up. It helps give the intimate feel. It didn't kind of come together really, I think, until we actually got on set and we had the proper projector out there and everything. That first time we did that scene, it was a lot easier for me to get a brilliant shot of Brian, but also you get that effect in the background as well. It becomes so much like a dance at that point, trying to be in the right place, the right part of the circling motion, and also avoid shadow, avoid Julie, and try and get a shot which allows Ross for Vision Mixer to be able to cut away between the two cameras. The complete explosion of the multimedia element is a perfect portrayal of attention-grabbing media. You're constantly having your focus stolen, whether it's from Brian downstage, whether it's to a restaurant stage left, or whether it's to the production studio TV element happening all around you. We're there, we're filming it live. It's not just simple live TV because it's artistic and we're really getting in there and we're moving around. That is very live cinema theatrics. It's quite a unique and amazing thing. 
as video and various forms of media become increasingly more prevalent in our life, can only imagine that we will stop thinking of it as being something new and something unusual, and it will just have a presence on stage the way lighting and sound do in every production. Being a technician, I've been very used to being backstage all of my life. It was very strange in tech. Looked out into the auditorium, saw all the production desks, and I was like, this is totally bizarre for me not to be sat out there and how visible all of a sudden I felt. And especially awkward about having to take a bow, which is something I've never had to do before. It's a, a whole new perspective.